Hello, welcome back. Now, what I've decided to do is try and do something a little bit different, something that I can do episodically um, over the, the next few weeks, months, etc. So I've decided I'm going to look at um, the output of some of the ZX Spectrum Legends, and this is going to be the first one. Um, now, obviously, there's many, many, many great um, programmers, but I can only do one at a time. And this video, the first one, is going to feature on the work of Jonathan Joffa Smith, the late uh, Joffa Smith. Now, according to the World of Spectrum, um, he participated in or programmed 15 titles in total. So I'm going to list them all chronologically as they appear on uh, WAS and go through each one um, for your pleasure. The first one is Pud Pud, which um, seems to be his first ever published game from 1984. Now, if you've ever seen the Commercial Breaks documentary, I will put a link in the description box below to it. Um, Jonathan Smith actually appears in um, that documentary demoing uh, Pud Pud for uh, um, Ocean um, Hierarchy. Um, it's a really, really strange little game, full of um, some great graphical quirky touches, etc. Really, really nice. Um, so go and check Pud Pud out if you haven't. It's a very, very good introduction to his uh, to his work. Now, um, the next one in uh, from 1984 is Kong Strikes Back. Really, really nice game. I like this one. I didn't know it um, at the time. Um, and I've only sort of rediscovered it um, recently through, or sorry, discovered it recently through emulation. It's a really sort of fun little arcadey um, type game. Uh, you've got to go through the roller coasters at the fun fair, um, avoiding all the the um, the bad things that Kong chucks at you to try and um, kill you, and then uh, reach the the girl at the top of each level, and then each level becomes progressively harder and harder. Very very nice uh, little game this one is. Now, uh, we move from 1984, obviously, into 1985. And the first um, game that I'm going to feature from 1985 is Daily Thompson Super Test, which is the middle of the three Daily Thompson's games, the other ones being um, Decathlon from 1984 and Daily Thompson's Olympic Challenge from 1988. This one is a 1985 title. It's not bad, it's not fantastic, but it's not a bad game. Um, there's a lot uh, of different events, cycling, penalties, um, pistol shooting as you can see, tug of war and um, some others that now I've challenged myself to remember them, I actually can't. But anyway, that's um, Daily Thompson Super Test coming to an end. Uh, the next one's probably one of the, the best arcade conversions that there is. Um, it's Mikey, which um, is based on the Konami uh, arcade game. Great little game. Now, I recall this from back in the day, but I never owned it, and I only have started playing this again sort of very, very recently uh, through emulation. Um, and it's a great game. It's quite tricky, um, but, you know, full of character. The graphics are full of charm, and it's incredibly playable, um, even to this day, even though it's really, really quite tricky. It probably isn't quite tricky, but it's just me. Um, everything's quite tricky for me. So we move on to perhaps the sort of uh, dud in the collection is the um, Street Hawk subscribers um, edition. This was not the version of Street Hawk that eventually, after much delays, reached um, retail release. Um, this is a version that was cobbled together for um, Crash Magazine subscri subscribers. It's not a uh, great game. It plays like a kind of amalgam of... Um, Jetpack, Defender, um, Scramble, all those kind of things, and it's it's just not very uh, not very good. It's well animated and you know quite fast, but it's a bit um, bit unplayable in uh, in my eyes. Next one, Hyper Sports, um, really really um, cracking conversion of the Konami arcade game. I'd love to tell you how. Um, great a conversion of all the events um, Joff has done but I can't get any f further than the third um, event which is like the, the horse um, event and this to me is the best one, the uh, the skeet shooting it's um, full of challenges trying to get uh, a perfect score all the time which I never have managed in all the time that I've tried whilst making this video so we move um, to 1986 and see what um, Joff was involved in then First one we come to is Terra Cresta, really, really nice um, shooting game. 
Um, suffers a bit with the uh, problems that plagued quite a few Spectrum shoot 'em ups in that um, because of the, the sort of uh, the colour scheme, the bullets can be a bit um, tricky to uh, keep your eye on, and you can sometimes die because of that. But still, a really really nice um, shoot 'em up. Really really well programmed, full of nice little touches of Joffers, including the ducks, which uh, feature fairly prominently in his work. Um, we'll see an example of them um, again. There was one in Hypersports in the skeet shooting thing. Ping Pong. Um, I'm not too sure what his involvement in Ping Pong was, but he is credited with being um, involved in it. Um, again, it's a, a conversion of <coughs> an arcade uh, game from Konami. Um, it's really, really playable. I did own this back in the day, and you're not going to believe me because of the state of the gameplay that I'm showing you here, but I was actually quite good at this um, back in the day, and other than Rockstar um, Presents Ping Pong, I can't think of any other table tennis games that there's ever been, even the Rockstar game is about 10 years old now. But anyway, Ping Pong, nice little game, again, give it a go if you've never played it. Green Beret, hard as nails this one is. Um, it's not the only one of his games that's hard as nails, but a great, great arcade conversion. Um, very, very playable. But my God, you've got to, uh, you've got to be persistent to get anywhere in it. It's um, again an arcade conversion, um, and it, it, again, you know, full of um, his polish and skill um, in bringing uh, quality software to the spectrum. You know, really, really nice conversion, um, and it's coming to an end. Can never get much further than this, even back in 1986. So, Cobra. <laughs> I mean, this is a film license, but what some of this has got to do with a film, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's really, really difficult to uh, work out anything that's uh, that's to do with a film in this one. But it's great. Uh, it's again, it's it's nigh on impossible to play. Um, I have watched walkthroughs of this. I don't know how people do it, um, but I can never get much further than you see in me now in this game um i can i can very very barely just about get a weapon in it um which i haven't managed to get it but again great graphics great humor um as he liked to invoke into all of his games and a great game try it 1987 saw only um one release that um he's credited with on Ross, and that was software projects hysteria and it's kind of like a side-scrolling, um, sort of shooty, sort of beat-em-up arcade um, sort of game. And it's it's okay. I mean, it, it's very, very well presented, as usual. Um, but it's quite difficult to, for, to work out what you're actually supposed to do in it, um, for me anyway. But again, you know, full of, um, you know, great, uh, great touches. Um some nice scrolling going on and you know really great um, graphical uh, style and character so 1987's one entry comes to a close we move into 1988 and in 1988 uh, Joffa brought us this one what's this this is hyperactive now this was actually a Sinclair user cover tape on issue um, 75 it wasn't released retail um, I don't think and as you can see, it's kind of like an updated jetpack, sort of defender, sort of um, space shoot 'em up, drop zone -y sort of uh, type game. And it's it's really, really quick, very, very um, well presented, and again, really, really um, nice. Playable, yeah, to an extent. It's good for a, a quick blast. Is it a classic? No, it's not. But is it a bad game? Definitely not. Again, it's available on World of Spectrum. All of these are. So we have Firefly. I can't work this game out whatsoever. Um, although it's, um, again, very, very well presented. It's got um, kind of puzzle elements to it, as well as these sort of shoot em up elements, which is quite an unusual sort of mix to find in a, in a game from uh, back in the day. This bit has the sort of kind of Bosconian style, sort of multi-directional scrolling and, and shooting, etc. And it's quite tricky. Um, but again, you know, you can't knock anything um, presentation-wise about this game. And we're moving on, finally, to... No, it's not finally, sorry. Um, final game of 1988 is Batman The Cape Crusader. One of the three 
Batman games released by Ocean and uh, coded by Jonathan's um, special effects team. Um, again, just look at the, the sort of presentation and the quality and the, the sort of uh, how stunning the artwork and everything about this game is. You know, the cartoon style of it is is fantastic. It's um, it's really evocative of, you know, Batman, the legend, the comics, etc. Really, really nice little game. I haven't got a clue what to do in it, though. Um, but I just wander around looking pretty. Well, I don't even look pretty in it. And then we don't have anything spectrumized from Jotha until 2006. And Wass uh, um, has his um, final game that uh, he was working on uh, called Saucer. Now, um, obviously, it's it, it's not in a, a state of completion. Um, but it's a really, really nice sort of um, shoot em up. Um, and a great sort of demo. You can see it. Uh, it's quite fast and frantic. And if someone out there could finish it off, I don't know, you know. Um, it would be great. Anyway, that's the video drawing to a close. Now, thank you ever so much for watching it. I, I want to do more of these um, ZX Spectrum Legends um, videos because I think they're quite interesting. There are some great programs out there. If you like the video, thanks. Uh, please let me know. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I think it's only fitting that I end this video by dedicating it to um, Joffa's memory. You know, he's given us some fantastic memories. Um, and I think it's right to honour that. Okay, thanks ever so much. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.